Hi and welcome to another video. Today I am reviewing the Mila G6000 G606 5SC VI XXL fully integrated stainless steel dishwasher. Now that is one heck of a mouthful to say, so hopefully the rest of the video won't involve any long model numbers. So let's get on with it. So as you can see here, we have the G6000 Mila dishwasher. It is an absolute beast of a dishwasher. Now, I have been blown away by the amount that I can fit in this. Now, I can, I've got just a very small amount of dishes in here, but realistically, I can get two days worth of dishwashing out of this. I've been so, so glad to have been able to review this. So this is the first time I've used Mila dishwashers before. I have previously used Mila white goods before, such as tumble dryers and hoovers. Now, I've been very impressed with them, now this is obviously leaps and bounds over some of the other um, products that I've used in the past. So for my recommendation, I would definitely say if you're looking for something of the next level of dishwashing capability, or looking for something with a bit more customization of your wash cycle, then I would definitely recommend taking a look at this one. Especially given the fact that it's got three shelves which have multifunction capability in them. So one of the great things that Mila bring to the table with this is the fact that it's a stainless steel inner and outer body, making sure that you know that you can get this clean very easily, but also as well, it's much more hygienic in the fact that it doesn't store additional bacteria in scratches and so on like many plastic based dishwashers on the internals do. So from that point of view, I've been quite impressed. So one of the great functions that Milab bring into the dishwasher is the fact that it's got three levels for all of your wash cycles. So not only can I move my cutlery up to the top level to give additional space on the bottom for things such as pans and larger items, but also as well it's got multifunctional levels to ensure that if you do have larger items such as wine glasses or bulkier items that need a little bit more room in height or width, you can customize how the tray works and operates for you, rather than being constrained to, to the actual baskets that are provided. So I've been quite impressed in the fact that I, I can customize the wash to exactly what I need, very simply and without issue. So another point that I've been able to note is the fact that I've actually hooked up an electric monitor to understand on how much it's actually using electric per cycle. So from this specific wash for these items that are in, I've actually just been able to do that for 16 pence. So I've been very, very impressed in the fact that this is a cold water fill and it actually heats it up via electric. So it's actually been very, very economical. The fact that I can actually put in the detergent and wash my pots for less than it actually costs to stand and wash my dishes manually. So I've been really, really blown away by how cheap it is to actually run. But I think that comes from just having a general A triple plus rated device. So let's take a look at some of the wonderful features that come from the Mila G6000 dishwasher. So in the middle, I have a power button, very simple to use. And from there, what I can see is I can see an indication of all the functions that I have. So over to the right, I have a selection of all the different wash cycles that I've got. And I can cycle through them just by pressing this button here. It's very simple to do. And there is a force feedback to it. So I definitely know every single time I click that, which is really handy because some of these dishwashers that are out on the market are very loose buttons. So I may accidentally click a cycle that I didn't want. Mila have really put a really good force feedback on each one of these buttons. Now what I'll see is as we go through, we've got things like sensor wash, which automatically understands the soiled dishes and actually corresponds its wash cycle to the actual plates and pans and cutlery that are within the actual dishwasher at that moment. We also as well have things like an intensive wash. So you might have had a Sunday roast or you might have some pans that need a little bit of an extra soak in the sink. But what you want to do is you can pop them into here and click it onto an intensive wash and hey presto, the magic is worked and they come out all sparkly. So if I click through a little bit more, I can go onto things like the quick wash. And the quick wash is only a 45 minute wash, one of the fastest ones on the market. And to be honest, this is my daily wash cycle. 
It takes no time at all. I can get my dishes washed very, very quickly and I can still be happy by the quality that comes out. I can also as well select a different time so I can actually remove some of the time off that cycle. So this is just to decrease the time that it takes to do the wash cycle, but not with great impact to the quality of the wash. I can also as well delay my wash by putting it in for some additional hours. So what you'll normally find is a standard dishwasher on the market will only do them per hour for a delay. So you can delay by one, two, three, and upwards to 24 hours. Me and I've gone one step further and they give you half an hour intermediate sections. So I can select five hours, five and a half hours, six hours, six and a half hours. Very, very handy if you want to be a little bit more precise. So once I've selected my wash cycle, all I do is shut the door and away it goes. Now the great thing that comes from this is once it's actually finished, it will click open the door and it'll allow for an extra level of drying. So as I say, one of the great things that comes with the Miele dishwasher is the fact that it comes with three levels. So this first level allows us to place a whole rack of different things such as pans, larger plates, plus as well, it allows you to move around the various functions. So what they've been able to do is provide multi-levels so that we can wash things like much larger saucepans and plates, bowls, but also as well, it allows us to move all the cutlery to the top shelf and have all of this space to wash with. We've been able to find that we can get pretty much two days worth of washing in this washing machine without any issue whatsoever. What you'll also notice as well, we have exactly the same on this top level, whereby we can change the different levels for washing to allow for things such as um, additional pots, pans, and so on and so on. So one of the wonderful features that comes with the Miele dishwasher is the fact that it's got three levels. So instead of having a cutlery basket now, what they've done is they've replaced one of the shelves with a third shelf to specifically wash your utensils, giving them a really high quality wash to ensure that they come out absolutely pristine. So as we can see here, we have a third level drawer, which has the slots for putting your cutlery in. So the slot allows you to put in some very large utensils right next to the individual pieces of cutlery. So as you can see here, inserting them is very, very simple. And as it comes for the larger ones, it's very simple to just place them in to ensure for a really good wash. So, in summary, what do I think of the G6000 Mila dishwasher? I think I've been very impressed overall, and the fact that it's very cheap to run, it's very quiet, it also as well has that extra drying feature at the end which is very handy just to get them last bits of water spots off. I think that's been really, really beneficial, especially on the fact that we use quite a lot of glasses. So that's been really, really useful. I think it's nice having a cutlery tray. I think it's definitely been beneficial to see the actual quality of the wash when they're individually separated. However, I think there's a little bit of a negative in the fact that when you are using a cutlery basket, it's a lot easier to load and unload. Yes, you may get a bit of food debris on your hands, but that's easily enough washed away. I think the problem that comes from having the, the extra tray is the time that it takes to load and unload. Now, I think the quality does outweigh that in a way, but the fact that we do use the dishwasher quite a lot um, I think I would probably opt to maybe remove that tray or leave the tray in but get an additional basket which is an optional extra from Mila itself. So would I recommend this dishwasher? I think it's a definite wholehearted yes. I think the fact that I can customise all of my washes, the different levels, the different trays, the different cutlery drawers, I think the combinations are just pretty much endless. I think the fact that it's very, very cheap to run easy to operate, but also as well them extra functions that you just don't see on other ones in the market, such as the extra drying feature where it pops open, but also as well the fact that it's a fully stainless steel body inner and outer are really, really beneficial in my eyes. More specifically, this G6000 has definitely been something that I've really enjoyed trialing. 
and I would recommend that you take a look at this dishwasher. So thank you AO for providing the Mila G6000 integrated stainless steel dishwasher for product review. I've been very impressed with it and I would definitely recommend anybody to take a look at the Mila brand and more specifically this dishwasher. Again, I'm more than happy to answer any questions so please feel free to leave a comment below and I'll get back to you with the answers. And again, look forward to seeing you in another video.